Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Flapter from Studio Ghibli's Laputa Castle in the Sky. Yes, yeah, so in my last video we unboxed the Moe and Nausicaa from uh, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind and I do have one more Studio Ghibli kit here from Bandai to unbox and share with you guys. Again, this one as well, I will not be showing you an out-of-box review of the kit, what it looks like all snapped up at this time. Uh, this one as well, I just want, I'm just interested in possibly using some of the parts of the figures uh, for a diorama that I'm working on, so uh, that is going to be it for the moment. Later on, somewhere later down the line, I will work on finishing this kit and you'll see more of it at that time for the moment though I'm just going to be unboxing it for you guys so once again like the previous kit this is just uh, from Bandai's Studio Ghibli line this one is number five in the series again there's not very many of them but there are a few uh, this one is also in 120 scale I believe and again just from the film uh, La Puta Castle in the Sky and uh, this is just sort of another flying machine from that one. And we do have two of the characters here. Uh, so, going to be pretty cool. We do also have some clear parts for the wings. So, we'll see all of that once we get this opened up and unboxed. Just to cover the box art here, we just have a nice illustration there at the top. Just a nice photo of the kit there on the bottom. This kit is also, like the previous one, from 2004. There we have a Studio Ghibli logo. And we have this like official sticker here at the top. The uh, Moe also had this one as well, so kind of interesting there. On the bottom and top of the box as well, we're going to have just the name in Japanese and the film name in Japanese as well, number 5 in the series, uh, 1,500 yen for the price for this one, so a little bit more expensive, but this one does come with a little bit more than the Moe and Nausicaa. Uh, there's what this is going to look like, again it has the same kind of base, uh, front view and rear view. There's like a look at the control panel, so some really nice details there, and then our two figures here, and then we have a little figure there, a little uh, detail there on the front as well, the little skull. And then just more details there, information about the movie, I believe, and then again 1,500 yen for the price. Opening it up, here we're going to have our figures there on this first set, and we are going to take a closer look at the runners in a moment, so... Just to give you a look at this, some large parts there, one very large kind of red part, and just some orangish parts, and then here's our clear parts in there, and then here we have our instruction manual, so there's the illustration here again on the front, on the back, some really nice artwork, so it's, that's really cool. Uh, then we can have some detail about that, nice illustrations. Then here, uh, just some nice reference photos. Again, front, back, details about that. Uh, all of this details, reference photos for the figures, for painting those, and decals. We're going to have decals for the eyes and for the little skull there on the front. Color guide, lots of color is going to be used for this because that's including colors for the figures as well. The manual, I believe, does do a pretty good job of telling you where the different colors should go, I think. And we'll take a look at that. Here's the parts list. Everything is there. Then for the construction, it's going to be building the flapter first. All of that. Then putting the wings on kind of last. Then moving on to our figures here. That. And then just putting it on the base. So there is all of that. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the runners. So here we have our water slide decal sheet. Again, three sets of everything. So the boy's eyes, the girl's eyes, and then the skull to go on the front. Of course, you are only going to really need one set, so that'd be cool. You have two extra little skulls that you could put on some Gundam kits or something if you want. So that's kind of nice there. Then we have our clear parts for the wings. Two large and two small. And it's really in a nice kind of firm uh, clear plastic. It doesn't really feel too flimsy and not too stiff, so this seems like really nice quality plastic that they've gone for for that. Runner A1 here is just going to be molded in this kind of pale orange color. We have just a few detail parts for like the handle section and here's like our detail parts for the control panel. Some really nice detail on there. When it's all painted it's going to look really nice. So we can see the name on here is going to be just uh, 120 scale Hrapta. 
We're in A2, it's gonna be much larger here. We have three colors, that same kind of pale orangish, slightly pinkish color there for a lot of these larger parts, including this kind of gun piece there. We have one clear part for the kind of windscreen, and then one, two, three of this sort of like reddish, palish red, darker red color there for like the underside of the flapter. And here again is the base. Uh, unlike the Moe where it was like clear black, this time it's just uh, this uh, kind of orangish color and we have the raised detail there with the title of the film in English, which is pretty cool. Kind of interesting that they put the title in English rather than in Japanese. Um, mm, yeah, interesting. And then runner B is all in that orangish kind of color. Just a lot of the parts there, connection parts for the wings and kind of the main sort of whole part, I guess the main part, nice little rivet details on there as well, so really nicely detailed pieces. And finally, runner C is all the parts for our two figures, so just to give you a little bit of a better look at the details on the faces, there's the boy's face there, and the girl's face, and just some of their clothes. The girl is going to be, I think, much simpler, just one part for the head and the two arms, and the boy is going to maybe be a few more pieces involved, and that's pretty much going to be it. So that is going to be it for unboxing the 120 scale Furapta from Laputa Castle in the Sky. Uh, another really cool Bandai Studio Ghibli kit. So this is the only, uh, this is the second one that I own. Uh, this is, I only own two of these Ghibli kits. I would like to also get one of the robot, I forget what it's called exactly, of Laputa. Anyway, it's the robot from the series, I forget what the kit is called, but anyway, would like to also maybe get that one. That one's definitely quite a bit more expensive though, I know, so I haven't ever got that, but I'd like to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you do have any other questions or comments about this, let me know down below. Again, you'll see more of this later on, maybe later in the year. Uh, for the for the time being, just wanted to unbox it and share this with you guys. So hope that was interesting, helpful for anyone who's maybe interested in picking up one of these kits. They're all going to be sort of similar in this line. So that's it, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.